Okay, now this is dried around here. We did earlier on the video earlier where we put this on, let it dry. Then I came over here and used the iron and bent it over here with the iron. And then I put the poly brush all along these areas and glued it down here. Now, now we've got to turn this around and tuck it back into the groove here. You can see that and around that way. So what I've done is took the iron again and I just went around the edge and just quickly just iron the edges over. I've already done that all the way around so that the edges are back, uh, you know, already made a little bend. They still got to go around to the ends inside here and tuck in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet them with poly brush along the back. And then what I'm going to do is use these paper, these uh, clothes pins all the way around here to hold it. Like I did in the fuel tank. If you look at the forum post, when we put this in around the fuel tanks and the best way to do it was just go ahead and clamp it with these clothes pins, you know, just all the way around it to hold it, hold it in place. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do now is just basically take, take some wet poly brush Come back over here. I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not, but you want to pull that out, get the back side of it good and wet with the poly brush, like that. Good and wet. Then just start taking clothespins, and I put them pretty much just touching each other. If you let that clothespin take a bite right here on the edge, and then give it a little push in, that way you'll be sure it's pulling it tight along that edge. So I just keep getting clothes pins, putting them along there, and then just do that all the way around like this. And you'll find that it comes out uh, nice and that's really kind of the only way to, uh, to do that. And that's uh, pretty much finished for the uh, excess baggage door.